Hey everybody, thought I'd do a little update on the sawmill. It's been almost two years that I've had this. Need a cover for it and everything. And overall, I'm really happy with this sawmill. It's a Hudson Hunter. They, uh, it's basically their least expensive mill. Runs, a, I think it's an 11 foot blade. The normal sawmill, I think, will cut a 21 inch diameter log but I've made some alterations to it to make it cut basically a 23 inch diameter log just has a little seven horse Chinese motor on it assuming blade guards you have to I put put wig nuts on there instead of the bolts so you can change when you change blades it's easier to take off you don't have to have a tool for that I changed the way the blade guides are on there to widen it up a smidgen I took the rollers and the rollers were originally flipped over and they were on the inside. So that way there I was able to, I made my own track system for it. And it widened it up, it stabilized it more. The other thing, one of the other things I did was I added... An extra beam to strengthen the frame up because on a large log it would get it the the whole the whole system would rock back and forth and the other thing I did was I changed out now let's try this again changed out the gear mechanism to raise and lower the head this is just a harbor freight uh, worm gear drive and I just put one of my old DeWalt drills on there and all you do is hit it up or down and it raises the head up or down no cranking on the, the crank. Of course, I made a new rail system for it. I had a permanent rail system that I'd put in last year and I set it on concrete pads they got concrete pads that go down they go down about two feet in the ground but the problem is I had so much groundwater in this area that the pads shifted even that far down they, the ground just got soft so I put this new rail system, I have, let's see what we can show here, here we go. I put in every four feet, I have a screw piece that I can take and turn this around and adjust the level 
or the plane on where that uh, that rail is. If anything moves, I can just adjust it. Overall, I'm real happy with my system. I just made made a log dog right there. Real simple thing with a screw on the end to tighten it down. It works great. I just have a a scissor jack that I put on this pad on this end. So I put the small end, or yes, I put the small end here. I put the scissor jack under it and raise it up or down if I need to. If I need to uh, raise the small end to even out the the cut for the first first slab off of each cant. Uh, my current rail system is 20 foot long. I'm going to build another extension to it to go on to go to 24 feet so I can do 20 foot logs. But it's good for now because the original pads were out set out to go to 24 feet. But other than that, she works good. I'll get some videos up sometime because I got the I got a batch of logs to cut. I've already done a lot of, uh, cut a lot of lumber with this thing already. It's, uh, let me, whoop, get up here. All these two by eight rafters here. Cut a lot of siding. Lots of six by sixes for the beams. And also the beams to hold the edge. All the all the two by sixes for the top of this. And all the lumber for that 12 by 20 shed right there. Every bit of that lumber, floor and all, was cut on the sawmill. Oh yeah, and all the sides for this, mostly 2 by 6s, 2 by 8s, <clears throat> a few 2 by 10s, the siding all the way around. The shed was all cut out on that. Well, that should do it for this.